insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com. But we have three sort of levels. We've got these alerts that we call, which are variants that are being reported. We're working with the GISAID group, and we're working with Next Strain, and working with the Pengo group, and our virus evolution working group to track. What are the viruses that are being detected and the sequences that are being shared? And what does this tell us about the evolution of the SARS-CoV-2 virus? So there are alerts that we're tracking. Um, they become a variant of interest if they have some mutations that may um, change the behavior of the virus or have these phenotypic changes of the virus, meaning they may have some increased transmissibility. And if we start to see some circulation of these viruses in countries, then we'll say these are a variant of interest. I'm oversimplifying. Um, we have some definitions that we have clearly outlined, and when they meet that definition, it's a low bar for a variant of interest. But for a variant of concern, we have demonstrated changes um, in terms of transmission, in terms of severity, or any impact on our diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccines. And we have a virus evolution working group that we established a year ago um, that helps us in making this assessment. And that's made up of experts around the world um, with different backgrounds that help us go through the, the detail of each of the studies. And we, we try to absorb every piece of information we can to make those characterizations. We will have a further group um, that will look at vaccine composition. And if these variants um, demonstrate reduced efficacy of our vaccines enough that the vaccines need to be modified, then this group will help us make that composition. Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com.